Hi, today I wanted to talk about 3D printing and more specifically about getting your parts professionally 3D printed at a supplier. So you may or may not know, but PCBWay do actually offer 3D printing services as well as CNC machining. And for the Studio Light project, I printed a few prototypes on my FDM printer here in the lab, but I wanted to look at the difference in quality with getting something professionally printed and also take a look at the cost difference. So first of all, let's take a look at the services they offer and then we'll have a look at a comparison of the parts that I've had made. So if you go to the PCB Way website and then click on the CNC 3D printing section, we've got all the options available. And recently they've added a couple of extra options. So first of all, if you are thinking about getting something made in high volume, there are injection molding opportunities here for volumes of a thousand or more in quite a variety of different materials, which is really quite interesting. And also, they've recently added sheet metal cutting and folding. So uh, when it comes to the GPS Disciplined Oscillator project, which we probably will revisit again very shortly, there may be some parts that we want to get uh, made for that. So basically custom EMC cans, that kind of thing. And this might be an excellent opportunity to try out this service. But we've also got CNC machining from a variety of different materials and more relevant to this video is the 3D printing option. So I've uploaded the STL file for the main body of my studio light and it's quite a large part 95 by 50 by 105 millimeters and it's coming out at $35. Now when you compare that to printing at home obviously it's going to be more expensive so if you look at the eSun PLA for example $22.99 the slicer software says we're going to use about 73 grams and it will take us about 10 hours to print so uh, there is quite a lot of time there for printing but that works out, out at about $1.70 so it's obviously significantly more expensive here to get these made for you but what you do get is perfectly printed 3D parts so it's quite often uh, you have to faff around with your machine at home you might um, cause a mistake halfway through the printing uh, and given that it takes 10 hours to print just one uh, for some people it might work out better to get these professionally printed and not have to worry about the parts that haven't worked out properly. Now up to a quantity of about three you can see the price doesn't actually change so what you're paying for here is basically the setup of the machine and also the time in the machine. As you increase the quantity beyond that it looks like these parts are coming out at about $11 each so starting to work out slightly better value for money and there is a variety of options available so we can pick a variety of different colors. Uh, surprisingly white is cheaper than black. I would have thought black would have been the most common color but if we pick white there are a variety of surface finishes available as well so you can actually get your parts spray painted in any color that you want uh, either in matte or high gloss paint and you can also get the parts sanded with 1000 grit so you can get a very very perfect smooth finish. So some interesting options there and also a variety of materials available. So we can get it made in resin using an SLA process rather than the FDM process in a variety of different materials and colors, uh, and also some interesting metallic printing options, which are obviously significantly more expensive, uh, but could be quite interesting for certain designs. So here are some of the parts that I had printed. They do come very nicely packaged. They all get wrapped individually in this thin foam put in bags and then put in a much thicker foam to make sure it all arrives safely. Uh, but these are two of the parts of the studio light that I've had made. Uh, I didn't get everything made because I hadn't confirmed the final details of things like the barn doors that are going to go on here. However, if we have a look at the detail of it, these have been printed really, really nicely. These were made from nylon HPPA12 and the surface finish without any additional extras, you know, we could have uh, paid to have it sanded and that kind of thing. But that surface looks really, really nice. Very, very clean compared to the ones that I've printed at home. And one thing to note with these is that all of the circular holes are absolutely perfect. On the part that I made, I think I ended up having to drill these out to get them perfectly circular. And for example, on the DC jack, you can see that's slightly oval as opposed to round. Um, now, that's one of the advantages of having things professionally made as they deal with all the setup of the machine. I'm sure I can fiddle with it uh, to try and get my machine to print these perfectly. But I don't know enough of the knobs to twiddle to get them to work properly. So, uh, you know, some of the finishes, they look pretty good, uh, but there are imperfections. For example, on the vents, you can see there's a bit of distortion at the edge here. A uh, bit of distortion here on that circle as well as some little stragglers of 3D printed material. Again, a few bits of stringiness between these 
look at the vents on here these are absolutely perfect really really clean it almost looks like it was machined afterwards the circles are perfectly circular and everything so it looks really really good so let's have a look at the dimensions. What I tend to find is on my printers, the Z-axis seems to be the one that always runs out very slightly. So this is supposed to be 105 millimeters tall. And we're just very slightly over that, 105.5. Uh, it's supposed to be 50 in this direction. And that is 50 exactly. And then on the width, 95. And you can see that's 95. So pretty good just slightly out on the longest dimension but overall that looks quite good so one thing that I want to check now is whether the PCB fits at the back properly here so the idea is that there's these areas here that the PCB sits against and there are supposed to be holes in here for some heat certs but you can see they haven't really formed properly when I've printed them uh, and then the PCB goes in there there's this back plate that sits over the top with a hole for the OLED some buttons and the potentiometer and then it gets screwed in and these little uh, bosses here basically sandwich the PCB between these parts here and the back panel. So let's see if this fits nicely into the case. And certainly that looks like it fits nicely. We've got the DC jack in the right place there. Uh, and it fits very snugly onto those parts inside. And yeah, it looks like this back panel fits nicely. The pins here look like they're very slightly too long as you can see so I'm gonna to have to trim those back slightly uh, but it looks like this is gonna work quite nicely the holes are in the right place for the buttons and everything so once I've uh, got the OLED in place and trim these off I can probably get these parts made also at PCB way to finish those off so that's a quick look at PCB ways 3d printing services and whether or not it's right for you depends on quite a few factors first of all uh, first of all whether you've actually got a 3d printer or want to invest in one then it comes down to how much you value your time if you've got 10 hours to print each item uh, and don't mind spending some time setting it up and getting it absolutely perfect then obviously uh, printing at home probably makes more sense for you but if you want to just get something made and don't want to worry about the process of actually trying to get it all perfect then it can start to make a lot more sense to get these parts professionally printed and then you don't have to worry about anything other than sending your design files and then getting the actual parts back and as you can see I'm really quite impressed with the surface finish on this one. I think we'll have a look at some other uh, materials in future videos, but I'm very excited to get the rest of the parts printed for this so that we can complete the studio light design. So if you've got any thoughts or comments, don't forget to leave them in the comments section down below. Also, if you've got any uh, suggestions, even for PCB way, leave them in the comments section down below as well. A uh, big thank you to my Patreon supporters and don't forget to visit PCB way if you are thinking about getting some 3D printed parts made or if you're just thinking about getting some PCBs made. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful, and until next time, thanks for watching.